Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this live stream. Um, bit of an impromptu live stream. I thought I'd pop on and share with you guys uh, some recent sales. I've not actually done a sales video, I realized, for quite a while. So I thought it would be a cool idea to pop on, uh, share a few items that I've sold this month, um, and do it as a live stream. Um, just to say a few hellos in the in the chat first. Uh, we have got um, oh gosh, who we've got? We've got Peter says good evening, Alistair Lowe, Oop. Um, Andy Robinson, Witchwood Dreams, Carol Doherty, um, Ashley Martin, Simon Mitchell, Mir Cameron Alley, uh, Sam Tez Nutkins, CP Crafts, and more. Um, so welcome everybody to the uh, late night, I suppose, stream. I wasn't expecting to do it this late, but there we go. Lady Holly says hi, Lucy T, Bob Dixon, um, The Whippet as well. Hi there, mate. How are you? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just pop on and uh, share with you guys, uh, you know, what's what's been happening um, in terms of sales and bits and pieces like that. Um, let me just sort this out quickly so I can uh, see what's going on. Yeah, so um, uh, Kevin Smith, Diesel Engine Freak, Colin Mack. So as you guys can tell from the title, I don't know, actually, did I title it? Did I title this stream? I'm not sure I did. I'm going to assume that I did. Um, okay, yeah, it says 15 items sold. I count 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, there are 15 items. I just wanted to double check that. I've got 15 items that I've sold recently. You may have seen a couple in a few recent videos or streams. I can't be 100% sure, um, but we'll see. And um, yeah, we'll go through what I've sold, like what I paid for it and what kind of things sell on eBay, really. Um, Doing it yourself lifestyle. Ryan has joined and says, "My five pound mouse helped me list thirty items today." <laughs> well, I'm glad your five pound mouse is working out so productive for you, Ryan. Um, the the missus is especially loving the eighty pound mouse that we're using. Uh, we absolutely love it. Um, he says, "I've inboxed you on Insta too. Please do check. I will check. I'm terrible for checking Instagram. I need to get my head around it a bit more. I I." still need to just get comfortable with it so i will do that um so cp craft says sales have been rubbish this month carol doherty as well um yeah sales can be up and down it's just the way it goes i, I mean i i think like today's been relatively quiet but i think i did over 300 quid the day before it's, it's pretty, pretty random and then like today is like 50 or 60 quid um right um, Simon Mitchell says, that's where I went wrong. I listed 14 items today. Clearly, I need a £5 mouse. <laughs> um, Sue's Pile of Shame has joined. Hi, Z. Thanks for saving me from making sugar lilies or a wedding cake I'm making. Oh, that sounds yum. Oh, I, I could eat cake. Um, I know it's wedding cake, but I'll eat any kind of cake. It doesn't, doesn't fuss me. Um, right. Um, Yes, without further ado, well, I always say that, don't I? <laughs> Let's just get to it. We, let me just see what's going on in the the analytics. And, uh, I can't, uh, I'll look at it later. I'll look at it later. All right, this is the page I need to be on. Um, and let's just get that up again. Right. Um, I have a Poundland mouse and works fine, says CP Craft. I'm not going to get into mouse discussions. I do like Razer gaming mice. Um, they are excessive, but they're so cool. Um, right, first sale. Let's get on with the video at hand. Thank you, everybody who's joining so late, um, by the way. And let's go on with some sales. First item I wanted to share with you guys, um, as you can see, is this uh, cricket. It's called a cricket. I know this. Um, a cricket. A jukebox cartridge station um, and what this was is I I picked up a big job lot of craft items um, for about 115 pounds if I remember correctly a few weeks back and um, it was really cool um, a lot of stuff has sold for good profit already um, I'm well in profit on it and I actually spoke about the um, embossing folders that I had um, that I've got listed for like 200 quid at the moment um, as a job lot, but I'm going to take those down to to bundle them because it, I think it makes more sense um, after speaking to you guys and Beck's been saying that as well. And I thought, you know, so this is actually from there. This is the cartridge station. Uh, 
looking back at the chat, Mark Blake's evening. Um, Woohoo! Thanks, Z. Got my first sale of the day. Don't thank me, CP Crafts. I'm sure I had nothing to do with it, but thank you for saying that anyway. Margaret has joined us. Hi, Margaret. Um, I love my Razor Naga. Was amazing for WoW, says Mark Blake. Definitely. It's been a while trying not to be as distracted and grow the business more, says Dan, but still pop in once a while. I never forget the ones who helped us helped us start up. That's so sweet, Dan, <laughs> Um it, thank you for popping in. What's the crack here, says Falling on a Bruise. It's a bit late. It is a bit late, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been busy today. And wow, Margaret, thank you, Margaret. That is incredibly generous of you. There was no need for you to do that as well. For Margaret has super chatted me $5. Um, there it is on the screen. Super chat of $5. KFC on me. Wow, you know, you know I've got to have my KFC. I absolutely love it. I'm a bit addicted to it. Actually, we went down south recently. I didn't even... I went to KFC, but I didn't go to Morley's. So that was a bit of a bummer. I went to a local chicken shop, which was good. But anyway, um, CB Crafts says, Selling fast, Z. Good time to list. Everyone wants to make bits um, to make their millions for Xmas. My pack rat says, Howdy, Z, and how's everyone else? Um... Wow, got a furry damn thing is so annoying. It better sell Furby thing, I think whip it means. Mm, KFC on the sofa. Yeah, nothing better than to chill out on the sofa with a bucket of KFC. It's just, you know, the, the, the cool thing is Beck doesn't eat it anymore. So it's just more chicken for me, um, which is probably not good. I did force myself to go out and do a few more steps, though. Um, I'm actually only on 7,300 steps. I would have done more, but just, uh, I don't know, didn't get around to it, um, resell a niche, Mo says, hey, um, Sib K says, hello, is this live, yes, Sib K, it is live, thank you for joining us, um, right, I believe we were meant to be sharing some sales, um, before I got distracted by the chat again, so let's refocus, All right, the cricket jukebox cartridge station, guys, now this was part of my craft, uh, haul. I paid £115 for this whole haul. I've made plenty of, of cash already, well in profit on it. Um, and this is just one part. This is a small device which connects to the like a larger machine called the Cricut Expression. And this allows you to store. I'm going to turn that off. That's irritating. Um, this allows you to store um, like. Uh, you know cartridges for you know for your crafting um, so you, rather than having to swap individual cartridges in and out of the machine you can put about five or six cartridges in this machine and it can you can then cycle through it on on the main machine so that is what um that is what this machine is for so pretty simple device um it's uh, let me see if i can make that a little bit larger so you can just see what it looks like um it's got a little link cable the user manual it's, you know, i took a picture of the base as well just to give people an idea uh, a view of everything you get i always like taking a photo like that just to give people an idea of exactly what they're going to receive um so that's a nice little sale to to get going with Next item, now I'm sure you guys would have seen this. This is the mega insulation tester that I picked up on Sunday. Um, Whip it was actually there. I showed it to him when I picked it up. Um, and um, you can see it's. It, I've just powered it on. Uh, cleaned it up a bit because it was pretty grimy, as you could imagine. Uh, you know, it's, it's used in a professional working environment. It gets battered around, used, and it was a bit grimy. So I cleaned it up as best I could. Took some photographs of the different parts. Nothing special. Open, close, back. You know, um, just took a photo of the calibration uh, label, and then I also took photos of the serial um, inside and of the corrosion to the battery terminals as well. Um, so I showed all of that in detail, mentioned it, and um, then that that one went pretty quickly, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, nice little sale there for me. Um, side note distraction Z, the gray doesn't work well in the side chat. Okay, I will make it darker maybe. I'll, I'll make it darker. I, I can see what you mean. It's a bit too, um, it's a little bit too, uh, see-through it's a bit too transparent um but there we go um okay i'm okay with kfc but popeyes i don't think we have popeyes chicken my pack crap we don't have popeyes i should look into it really um see if i can find someone that's good 
Right, so that's the next item. Um, moving on, guys. Um, who cleaned up, says CP Crafts? They cleaned up, Z. Oh, I don't know. Okay, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, moving on to the next item. This is a coffee grinder. I may have showed this before, but this was a nice little pickup that I paid. Um, uh, I think it was £30, something like that. £30, I think, I paid um, for the coffee grinder and... Um, and um, a knock box as well so you can see the coffee grinder in all its glory here I'll see if I can show you some like better photos there we go look at that nice little photos there with the hopper on and off showing the insides as well and again showing the label where it's made any serial numbers the damage because as you can see the lid there on the hopper was broken so I wanted to make sure that that was um, shown um, to the potential buyer. Um, Zahir is two timing his UK followers by charming the US. I know what you're up to says Sib K. Oh, how dare you Sib K. No I just thought I, I don't normally stream this late but you know I'm awake why not I'm, I'm you know we've got a busy um, day ahead of us tomorrow. You didn't keep the coffee grinder says Simon Mitchell. I've got a coffee grinder ready, Simon. Um, I've actually got another commercial coffee grinder, so I didn't need it. Um, so that, that's why I got rid of that. Next item. Again, you may have seen this. Um, if you have, apologies. But this was, again, a pickup from, uh, not this weekend, but the previous weekend. This is a pit box. So you can actually see it in more detail now. Um, I paid £10 for this. And you can see it opens up. It's got little drawers. Um, you can just, you know, just that's what it looks like closed. This is for Scalectrics, um, or, or not Scalectrics, but slot car racing enthusiasts. Um, they will um, go to meets and uh, use these devices to store their slot cars in and to keep all the parts that they need um, and whatever else that they need. So it's, it's one of those devices that I was like, okay, fine. Um, it didn't go to the global shipping program. I, I sometimes check like prices for things in other countries, um, and, and you know that was that's why it's got the global shipping there. It was actually sold to the UK, and I shipped it up via off via UPS. Um, doing it yourself, lifestyle. Ryan says, "What happens if your bean flies out? Do you have to catch it with the crack on the lid?" <laughs> Beans shouldn't fly out because there's normally a device above the coffee burrs the grinding burrs which keep that um right um i just got notified says pete's retro collectibles z doesn't need another coffee grinder he's locked up two baristas in his house um it's only 10 a 10 a.m us geeks are up to 1 a.m as you know 10 p.m you meant there um he loves his solo stream says dave roland um cp craft says when you showed it the other day i thought it was a beautician's box says cp craft yeah i mean it could look like that um but it's not um it's yeah it's for slot car um, fanatics. Um, my pack rat says, um, Joe, oh, ooh, vintage slot car stuff, some of my favorite things to pick. It's not that common from what I've seen. I mean, considering all the boot fairs that I've been to, um, it's not something that I've seen that often. It was actually one of you guys in the chat that gave me the correct uh, term um, in terms of it being a pit box for slot cars. So thank you very much. Um, Mark Blake says, you sell a massive array of stuff, Z. How have you picked up this knowledge? I would never be looking at a slot car box. You know what? You you will pick up knowledge as you go along, Mark. I really do appreciate that comment. It's very kind. But you will pick up that knowledge just by going to car boots. Um, in all honesty, when I saw this, um, the thing that attracted me to it, if we go into detail... Um, it, the thing that attracted me to it was obviously its build quality was very good. It's a sturdy, like, flight case style box, and those are worth money. But what really drew my attention was the label. The label, as you can see, says Scale Auto Model Car Competition Parts. Now, when I saw that, I immediately uh, alarm bells went ringing. I'm quite in. Well, I, when I say I'm quite into, I'm I like picking up hobbies, and currently I'm into like radio controlled cars. Um, you may remember, guys, that previously I was really buzzing about um, 
helicopters um and then i like now i'm kind of into cars i've got nitro cars and petrol car sorry not petrol i've got nitro cars i've got an electric car and when i saw that i assumed it was actually for rc cars and knowing the cost of the rc hobby i just assumed it was going to be worth money um flight boxes are normally worth a lot of money it had that kind of build quality i opened it up it looked cool with its little drawers solid and i thought okay it's model cars it's got to be worth money um and it was only a tenner i mean 10 pounds I'm, I'm willing to risk 10 pounds all day um i mean I, I i'm happy to always gamble a bit of money when it comes to these things um so yeah that, so appreciate that comment um ryan asked question how's beck's store been going tell her i said she needs to update us guys i will tell her that she needs to update you guys it's been a bit quiet for her recently because she's been so busy with work um i mean she's been working at the shop a lot so she's not had the time um she needs to consistently list so she's kind of mad at herself but i'm sure she'll explain that to you guys um but you know it's it, she, she's still top rated seller which is nice the odd things are still pinging away um but she's you know she's going to talk to you guys about that i'm sure um very hard to find here as well says joe my pack rat yeah i mean i guess it's just that kind of in demand stuff i did obviously ask this guy do you have any of these model cars because i thought i was going to have rc cars and then the guy was like no no i sold all of those on ebay and i was like well why didn't you sell this case in my head obviously i didn't ask him i i, I just you know i assume i asked myself why would he sell rc cars and then not sell this on ebay but then it dawned on me afterwards obviously that it's slot car racing so sending a small slot car in the post is going to be a lot less daunting for someone and then some an item like this could easily put people off right um i would pick up think i would pick up thinking beauty box um <laughs> then think what have i bought says cp crafts um right um boo 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 um he's brushed his hair says dave roland whip it says buy with gut instinct if it looks good someone else will think the same then it's just quality and price says the whip it very good advice there really appreciate that peter ray says didn't know you were live now how much have i missed you've not missed a lot i've still got a fair few items to go through um i think we've only shown a couple so far because i keep on getting distracted with the chat i do need to cut that out because it's late um jennifer h says you learn all the time my boyfriend found an old rusty petrol can today we have just checked it out on youtube and they're going for 20 to 30 pounds blew me away as i thought it was rubbish says jennifer h exactly always learning uh sib case says the pit box was a super fine um how could you sell the pit box um you animal i'm not a slot car fan ryan so um that's just the way it is um right um jennifer says sorry checked out on ebay i'm so tired um not youtube i thought that was a bit strange but there we go um work why well, swear at this out okay nick and andrew fell to stream from their hotel posted on facebook says dave oh okay um cp crafts and more must be bloody hard don't know how people work in employment and do this but i'm an all and nothing kind of person yeah i mean it's difficult for rebecca at the moment she's she is um you know she does keep on um you know she she gets con you know con not confused that's the wrong word she does have like battles with herself about whether she wants to continue or not and you know it's something that she's gonna have to obviously decide uh, when she's comfortable with um right next item now this is something that i am very kind of keen to show you guys it's a it's a bit of a fail um if you some of you may remember this most of you probably won't a couple of weeks back actually this is when nick and andrea came to stay up with us um and we went out to the boot sales at the weekend um at that weekend i picked up this camera this is the minolta um big mini bm201 camera and they see it's made in japan um so it's the big mini bm201 so if you guys are out there and you see this um Konica uh, camera uh, it will say big mini on it there and it will say BM201 that's the model number pick it up especially if it's cheap because in full working order this camera will fetch you over a hundred pounds on buy it now as long as you're prepared to wait a tiny bit I I, I think a hundred pounds should be achievable on this camera for you guys so 
I was um, at the boot sale. Like I said, this was the weekend that Nick and Andrew came up. And this guy had this camera and he'd done his little bit of research. And he wanted, um, I think he wanted like £50 saying it sells for lots, etc. And I did a few eBay searches and I found like a, a, a sold um, completed listings um, on this completed listing on this camera, which didn't achieve very much. So I showed him that and said, look, this uh, auction, the prices seem a bit everywhere. I know some people have achieved 100, but look, this guy only got 60. So I can't pay you like 50 or whatever you wanted. And I think in the end we haggled and I got him down to 30 pounds for this camera because the way I figured it, it looked in really good condition. Um, and I thought 30 pounds if I can sell it for over a hundred that's a good profit right guys so that's what my thinking was so I paid him 30 pounds now if you look at this photograph here you will see a common fault with this particular camera there's a ribbon there which is meant to connect the back panel display and buttons um, and allows them to function and as you can see it's been it, it, it's cracked um, it's broken um, the ribbon is is in two pieces so um, you can't get replacements very easily from what I could see it's not something that's an easy fix or anything like that so I was pretty gutted that my 30 pound uh, pickup which should have gotten me over a hundred in the end wouldn't get me anything but I was still able to sell it for 50 pounds via the global shipping program so you know i made a tiny bit of profit obviously not the profit that i wanted to make um but it was um it was it, it was just one of those things that you know like uh, that you have to deal with um what have we got here um work 18 hours sleep six is my new motto um mark black says i found a nico america land shark rc car for 10 pounds cool um, show us your mouth. No, <laughs> nice one. And pulled it around. Says the whip bit. Um, nice camera to find. Says Simon Mitchell. Yep. Sib K has a quick camera tip. Yep. The number on the lens. Um, yeah. If it's lower, it tends to be better. That's right. The lower the f, um, the f number. But yeah. So I still made a little bit of money on it. So, uh, fifty pounds for it when it's not working. Um, it was a decent pickup net or a decent flip well no it wasn't a decent flip for 30 to 50 but it was a good save is what i meant it was a good save right um next item again i wanted to share a couple more sales from this craft pickup i've been selling a few of these um i actually sold a bundle of these which were anna griffin ones for about 70 pounds so that was a pretty nice start and then i've been knocking these out at different prices this is a cricket cartridge now with these cartridges um you have to be careful because they can be linked so someone can um have one of these cartridges and uh, link them to their online account um, and that means if someone else then buys the cartridge they can't link because once a cartridge has been linked it remains linked you can't unlink a linked cartridge however if someone's using this with a cricket expression machine this cartridge just physically plugs into that machine and the linking is not an issue um, so this is a Christmas cartridge with a booklet and keypad um, and it sold for 17 pounds plus shipping so pretty nice little sale right uh simon mitchell says 50 pounds is amazing bring in mind it's not working uh yeah so it's yeah that was a decent flip for me on in in those uh in that term um moving on guys this one is something i'm a little bit sad about part of me wanted to keep and fix this this was a hpi uh, nitro truck that I purchased um, I paid 40 odd pounds for it I think or 45 pounds at the car boot um, and it was in need of a lot of work to be honest it needed um, the uh, the engine was missing the um, gasket there um, the one-way bearing from the piston there was missing um, and obviously the starter motor assembly was missing um, so it needed work. It needed some TLC. The electrics were there. Um, the servos were in good condition. The tires needed looking at. Um, lovely little truck, really. Um, but I, I, in the end, I just kind of shied away from from wanting to fix it all up and everything. So um, I got an offer or got a sale for um, eighty-five pounds. 
Uh, Ryan is in shock. It, sad is an understatement. But, Ryan, you'll be pleased to know... Oh, gosh. I don't know if I can show you guys, actually. I've got... Oh, God. No, I can't show you. I've actually got two RC cars underneath that blue bag. Um, those are both nitro cars. So, I do actually have more RC car goodness. Um, so, I'm. it's not a complete loss. But, 40, 45 pounds I paid. But, sold it for 85 plus shipping. So, I'm pleased uh, with that sale as well. Um, so, let's just move on. Wow, it's 10.28. It's getting late. Um, this was a quick £10 pickup into a £30 sale. Nothing spectacular. It's an Amazon Kindle. Um, I believe it was a second generation. Um, yeah, so it, it they're difficult to photograph, I find, these things. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I, I took some photos of it. Obviously, I made sure to... Um, I made sure to uh, reset it um, when, um, you know... I, Wow, God, I don't know. Um, just reset it when, um, you know, before I sold it. <laughs> so I did that. Um, who buys a broken RC car for £85, says Peter Ray. Well, it would... it It's still worth that money, Peter, because it, the parts alone... If I was to break that truck down into individual parts... I could have made even more money. Um, so, I mean, the parts alone are still worth money. That truck did have some hop-ups, as they're known, so like little upgrade parts as well. Um, Dan Buzz says, part of me wants to keep a lot of great stuff I come across, but I shy away most of the time too. I like money more, says Dan Buzz. And Steve K says, Z, just imagine what you could achieve if you did this full-time. I do do it full-time. Um, you know, <laughs> believe it or not. Um right so moving on now this is another item now th this is the kind of thing that i love about reselling uh this is will catch rest later on says cp crafts sun still likes to get up at silly o'clock um thank you for popping in really appreciate it cp crafts um and yeah that would be great catching up later that's fine um now this is really cool um what i like about reselling is you get to play with stuff as you guys know, I did have a helicopter and I went through a little phase like messing around with RC helicopters and I this is something I bought for f the equivalent of £40. A sim case says lies. <laughs> I do. Well, okay, my work ethic may not show it, but I am technically. Um, <laughs> um, this is a... This is something I paid £40 for at a car boot. Got a lot of use out of it. Had a lot of fun playing around with this. This is a Spectrum DX7 uh, transmitter. Now, what you want to look out for when you see these, um, the number of channels, um, the, the more the, the number of channels, the better. So, if you see three channel or four channel transmitters, they're not going to be worth very much nowadays. Most of them are, are like, you know, you, you want to have a minimum six channel, seven channel, then you get like the eight channel transmitters and then higher as well. And then you get into really high money. Um, this radio was quite cool because this model normally doesn't have a backlit screen. Um, but whoever owned this beforehand had obviously modified the screen to be backlit, which I think um, was super cool. Um, so, like I said, paid 40 for it, had it up at 129.99, um, and I got an offer for 100, and I was like, yeah, good, I think it was 100, and I think I got this, um, I think I got this sale whilst we were out, um, with, with, when we met up with Nick and Andrea in London, um, Ryan is not pleased by that sale, <laughs> animal, um, <laughs> RC controller, um, Jamie Kennedy says, nice surprise, live chat after a rubbish 12-hour shift at work, beer time and chill time. I'm uh, glad I can give you a little bit of entertainment there. But yeah, I, I could have gotten more for this, guys. I could have gotten more. I could have held out for the 129, and I'm pretty sure I would have gotten the 129 because it was in good condition. Backlit screen is rare on this model because it's a modification. It's not a standard feature. Normally, you have to step up to the Spectrum DX8, which is an 8-channel transmitter to get the backlit screen. Um, but there we go. So I, I sold it for 100. I was pretty happy. 
Moving on, this is a pretty cool sale. I didn't get 50, I actually got 35 um, for this. Um, I think I took an offer. This is Little Shop of Horrors, but what's cool about this is this has been recorded on video eight. Um, most of us are only gonna be familiar, uh, okay, with video eight tapes um, in regards to camcorders, like recording standard definition, old school camcorders. But as you can see, um, when video eight was launched, um, Sony did release a bunch of movies on this format. So like to, to kind of sell it as like a movie format, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and so this one went for 35 pounds um, and it's really, it's, it's really good. It's, it was a nice, easy sale. Um, Ryan says, this video shows me that you put bills before hobbies. <sighs> to an extent you have to, um, <laughs> I would love to have kept some of this stuff. Um, but I do still have toys. Like I said, I've actually got two nitro trucks back there that, that have yet to be tested. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to test them, enjoy them, and then decide what to do with them. One of them needs a new front CVD, um, but there we go. Better quality format than VHS, I always thought, says Simon Mitchell. Uh, my pack rat says sort of like Betamax over here. Um, yeah, so Peter S is proper nice. Z. Nick just uploaded a video, says Dave. Oh, fantastic. I'll be able to go and watch that afterwards. Um, moving on, guys. Um, we're down to the last five items I want to share with you guys, so we're getting to the end. Uh, thank you for sticking with me, those that have. This is a Tokina uh, camera lens. I picked up a camera and a bunch of lenses for a tenner. This was one of the lenses that was in the package, um, in, in this bag. So it was a bag, uh, it had two 35mm cameras. 35mm camera bodies tend to be not worth much money at all so bear that in mind but the lenses depending on what the lenses are can be good this is a Tokina lens 28 to 70 nothing special and I think it's a Minolta fit lens as well yep um, but I got 30 pounds for it so out of the 10 pounds that more than covers me um, and then next I'm going to show you this lens this lens also came as part of that 10 pound um, deal so the 30 pound lens was a nice little sale this wasn't even nice to sale this is a canon 80 to 200 millimeter ef lens ultrasonic ef lens um good condition it works fine etc um i got positive feedback straight away for it i think i actually accepted an offer on this one I think I took 40 quid for it just to get a quick sale. So 40 for this, 30 for that, 70 quid out of a 10 pound bag. Um, and I still think I've got a couple of lenses that um, that are yet to sell. Um, wowza, all right, just had notification, Dave, says Peter Ray. Uh, how I'm Now I'm, I'm expecting some vids of the other RC cars on the other channel, says Ryan. Lonnie has joined us, says, chat is all fancy and transparent, Z, looking good, thank you. Um, Simon Mitchell says, 35 mil lenses can be worth good money, did well with that one. Yeah, they do, um, Lonnie is also agreeing, Garage Flips, Lonnie selling, uh, Lonnie says, love s selling Canon lenses, always quick sales, definitely. Um, <laughs> Oh yes, that transparent one is gone now, says so okay. But yeah, okay, yeah, so I was really happy with that particular um um very happy with that particular uh sale. Uh question, I use a DSLR for eBay picks. Do you just use your phone now? I know you used to use a DSLR. Um Ryan, at the moment I'm using a phone, but I am going to be getting a camera. Um I I I don't like using my phone because there are situations in which you can tell it struggles. There's certain there's certain um, items which like it'll give green hues and things like that, and you have to mess around with it. It's awkward to hold, especially if you're taking lots of photos. So I am actually going to be getting a camera, um, but I'm going to be getting like a compact, like a small um, mirrorless camera. That's my next um, aim, I think, to pick up like a cheap mirrorless. 
Um, I'd love to get a full frame mirrorless, but I'd probably just get like a, a, a decent size, uh, you know, mirrorless camera. Um, because I think they're brilliant. You can swap lenses on them, take video footage, which would be great for the YouTube channel in terms of filming videos and vlogs and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I, I think using it to take photos will be epic as well. Um, so yeah, these photos have been taken with my camera uh, on my phone. Um, but I'm not always happy with how the photos turn out. I much prefer my SLR camera photos that I don't have anymore because I sold it. Um, right. Be sure to check Canon film cameras, EOS mount lenses, fit modern cameras too, says Lonnie. Yep, EF and EFS mount lenses, definitely. Z, I've tried to quit using my cell phone and I keep going back to it. It's too easy. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. It's easy, but it, it sucks sometimes. It really does. I mean, if you're photographing certain colors it really does mess up the saturation um i find that the it's not as good at you know i don't think it's as good at like um getting as much detail in i just i just don't like them I, i'm not impressed and i've got a decent phone guys i've got a nexus an lg this is a google nexus so it's a good phone like it's decent i mean I, it does decent stuff but i just and plus i just don't like holding it for photos and sometimes you'll take a photo and it hasn't the gyro hasn't updated and the photo will come out sideways and you have to adjust it I just annoys me annoys me little things like that annoy me um so that's why I'm going to be going back to uh, I'm going to get a nice mirrorless camera if I can afford to get a full frame one I'll get that because I think mirrorless cameras are epic um let's move on guys um pow this was uh, the knock box that I sold. Um, if you guys remember earlier in the video, I showed you a coffee machine um, and the coffee machine was, uh, I, I paid 30 pounds for the coffee machine and this knock box. Coffee machine sold for a hundred um, and this knock box, as you can see, sold for 50 pounds. Um, literally a knock box is just that. It's just a box with a bar in which you can knock coffee grounds out into. It was a, a, a stainless steel, so it was quite heavy and you can see reflections and a bit grubby there. But 50 quid and it sold really quickly. Commercial um, restaurant equipment sells quickly. Um, all kinds of things. Um, right. Uh, Danba says same here. I use my phone. I think my pictures come out okay, but my phone is old too. Uh, my second one because I like the camera so much. Resale Niche says I'm kind of used to using my phone too. Bob Dixon says I still use an old Canon compact for listing, only 10 megapixel, but it's fine and great on a tripod. Um, Simon Mitchell says ironically I use my phone too. As a photographer, I feel guilty about doing so. Simon, you should feel guilty, especially as a photographer. Uh, it's it's really um, a nice um, a nice thing to use a nice you know uh, some a, a DSLR just feels good in the hand doesn't it? Um, <laughs> shove it up your knockbox, mate says Lonnie. Knockbox looks like it was stole from a bank safe box comes to mind stolen from a bank safe. <laughs> cool. Next item. Bit disappointed with this sale, guys. Um, I. I only sold this for like 80 quid, bit disappointed. This is a Sony D88 uh, Discman. This was faulty. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, and, and very sought after Walkman. If you ever see one of these in the wild, um, you know, do yourself a favor and, and, and pick it up. You know, it's it's a great, I mean, you'll pick it up anyway because you will just look at it and you'll be like, oh my God, this thing is so freaking cool. You'll pick it up. Um, this is a one of the smallest uh, CD players out there. Um, it was designed to play um, the smaller, I think they're eight centimeter CDs as well. And it, you know, I, I would have gotten probably about £200 for this CD player had it been in working order. However, the laser pickup on it was faulty. And finding a replacement laser pickup for this model of Discman is very, very hard. In fact, there are Discman, there are, there are people out there that offer a repair service on this for substantial money. 
Um, so yeah, 80 pounds it sold for. I could have gotten about 200, I reckon, had it been working. But the, 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 the parts are becoming very difficult to find. It's not the repair that's hard. It's just finding the working parts. They're just becoming harder and harder to find. Um, so... It's it, it's just a shame that it wasn't working. If it was working though, I think I may have kept it because it was so cool. It was just the coolest thing and it pained me to sell it. I actually kept hold of this for months and months. I, I, I only re listed it recently. Um, so just just something to share with you guys. Um, and I want to end on one of my best sales of the month. This was a lovely little sale. You don't come across these often, so there's no point in being like, yeah, look out for these because the chances of you coming across one of these items is not great, if I'm honest. This is a portable Philips DCC player, um, but this is new old stock, as you can see. All the packaging inside there was original, complete. All the inserts, the manual, the pouch, everything sealed up. Um, I did take it out um, and so I could take photos of all the serial numbers so that I could show it working um, so that I could confidently say only you know I sold it as like a new other um, only taken out of the box uh, for um, you know for for like to testing purposes so you know you're going to get a working item um, so this um, item sold I took an offer for 350 I believe um, so it was a really nice pickup. Um, Peter Ray, this was actually part of a big job lot of stuff that I got. Um, new old stock is gold, says uh, Ryan. Yeah, you're right. Them things, I've got 10 in the death pile, says MK. Get them listed. They'll make you some good money. The cassettes themselves are fantastic as well. I actually made a really nice sale recently where I sold, a, I think, a guy bought like five of these cassettes. The sale was over £100 um, because the cassettes are quite sought after as well, the actual albums. The quality of sound from DCC, guys, is better than CD. It's actually better than CD. Sounds fantastic. Um, 18 bit audio on these things which was I mean this should have really been the next big thing but it wasn't um, it was one of those things where Philips came out with this really amazing tech it was very expensive at the time didn't take on um, it was just it's what happens right guys it's what happens but um, yeah Lonnie says that's a great sell thank you very much Lonnie um, yeah it wasn't a car boot it was it was not a car boot Simon Mitchell it was a massive um Hall of electronics that I picked up that I've still got stacks of actually. Um, I've actually got lots of um, electronics that still needs listing. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. You get you get tired of relisting the same stuff, so it's nice to mix things up. Like I haven't got anything like this, but I've still got some really decent um, kit to list. I just need to get around to it. I'm, I'm enjoying listing other bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, um, DCC, that's what it is, Digital uh, Compact Cassette. If you look it up, yeah, I mean, I sold um, the ACDC Black Album, no, Metallica Black Album, sorry, um, on digital compact cassette format for about 60 quid. I think I sold the Police Album for about 60 quid as well. Um, so yeah, how did it sound? It sounded amazing, Ryan. It sounded amazing. I've actually had some decks as well for my hi-fi, hooked it up. Sounds incredibly detailed. Very, like, it, you could just tell that it wasn't just resolution. The sound was just nice. It was just really good. It blew my CD player out of the water. And I've got a decent CD player, guys. I've got, like, an Arcam, um, a really nice Arcam Delta CD player. Um, which I'm going to sell actually because I don't really need it. Um, Z running out of time. Can Rebecca verify that? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. Anyway, guys, it's 10.46. Um, so I've gone on for far too long, guys. I'm um, 48 minutes in total, actually, by the looks of this. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it so much. Uh, you guys make making these videos like super worthwhile. Um, love the comments. Um, please leave um, a comment in the comment section if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Smash that like button for me. Um, and uh, obviously, if you haven't already, uh, look at joining the tap chat group on Facebook. Um, and um, also, th there may there may be links to the Brave the Shave 
down there if you haven't already um, in the description box. If you haven't, do that as well to donate. That would be really great. i will be grateful for that as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys um, in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.